The Digger Smith Award is our highest honor and given out to those who have uh, exhibited long time service and dedication to junior golf. Well, I was obviously honored, excited. Uh, I'm appreciative. I mean, it, it hasn't been on my radar, so this is a nice surprise. I really appreciate that. And also I'm thankful that, you know, the AJJ are kind of looking at the initiatives that we have and, and feeling that we're making an impact in junior girls' um, life as far as golf and just empower them, whether it's through the golf tournaments or through our More Than Golf, you know, initiatives. So yeah, no, I'm super thrilled. I mean, to just, you know, to listen to the previous recipients and know what they've done for the sport and I'm thankful for that. Well, when you look at what she's done, I don't know if there's anybody that compares to her uh, in what she's given back to junior golf. I mean, tournaments all over the world, clinics all over, uh, share my passion, um, just all the things that she's put together to support girls, women's golf, and it goes beyond junior golf. She's doing collegiate golf, amateur golf, professional golf. So I just, I, you know, there's no one more deserving than her for this award, truly. I think it's what Annika does. I've always said she's a better person than she is golfer. And people kind of laugh at that because she's the goat, but she really is. I mean, she's the best wife and mom and and friend and person that you could be. And the way she gives back to the game, um, always traveling around the country and the world to spend time with the juniors, to see our, all the Annika alumni, we call them, that have played our events on tour any given week. You know, there'll be four or five of them in the top 10. Um, there's thousands of them playing college golf, hundreds of them playing professional golf, and a lot more out in the, you know, the, the work industry um, working in golf. So. I, I love what she does. I love the way she gives back. I love the um, attention she gives them. And, um, you know, I, I just think she's incredible. As impressive is what she has done when she put her clubs away and dedicated all of her time and talent to her foundation. I think she understands better than most with a global view that golf is really a gateway to opportunity. And she has committed all of her resources, her time, her expertise, her financial resources to making that gateway of opportunity available for more. The reason I get back is because I want to say thank you to the sport, to golf, because without golf, I wouldn't be where I am today. You know, it, it's inspiring to see young girls thrive and and when they fulfill their dreams, it's, it, it's a good thing, right? It, it makes me want to do more. It makes me want to uh, get a bigger reach and, and be able to get a chance to, you know, um, touch a lot of girls around the world and just get them a chance to, uh, you know, try golf and then play some more golf and then compete and then help them along the way, the journey to fulfill their dreams. And I think it's just, golf is a great platform for, for young girls. And I'm just thrilled to be able to do that. And it's just something that I really enjoy. And, and when I see success from some of the players that I've seen grow up, it just makes me want to do more. Annika personifies the pursuit of excellence. She did it as a player and now in her post-golf uh, career and in her foundation, her goal is to have a tremendous impact with excellence, with integrity, and be an inspirational role model for uh, young women golfers uh, thr throughout the world. And she's, she's doing a tremendous job at that. I enjoy going with her to some of the professional events and in every field, there are Annika Foundation alumni and they credit her with opening up these opportunities for them. And just one antidote, um, we had this new Annika Invitational at the LPGA and the winner, Lilia Vu, was an Annika alumni as well. And she talked about it as if that event were a major. So I see the evidence of her impact every single day in the eyes and the expectations and in the dreams of some of our pros on tour. I, I think the fact that it's not about her, Annika um, truly cares about the next generation and giving back and giving the young ladies opportunities um, you know, the men have so many and the sponsors are so much bigger and, and more money and, and she's really 
trying to um, help change that, and, and it's happening. You know, when we got into this, there were 17% of junior golfers were girls, and now it's close to 35, 36%. And I'd like to think she has a big part of that. You know, if I had to pick one word that summed up Annika Sorenstam, it would be quality. Everything that she associates with, everything that she invests her time in, has her stamp of excellence and quality. So it's quality in execution, it's quality in preparation, and most importantly, it's quality and character.